There is a new mayor in town as we've just elected Lee here to be in charge of a brand new city. Based on absolutely no qualifications or experience outside of just being AI and running on ChatGPT, she was elected the new mayor of a brand new town called... Wait, hold on. What was that town called again? Let's call it Chaosville. Just because we'll be incorporating the most organized chaos city planning has ever witnessed. All right, there you Trust go. Trust me, it's a thing in CPT, city planning theories. Oh, is it? Do you think you need qualifications and experience to make a really good city? Pfft, overrated, Ash. I agree. The key to city planning is not in some dusty old textbook. Mm -hmm. It's all about the three C's, mm. creativity, chaos, and caffeine. I agree. Watch and learn. Today, we're going to find out whether my underqualified but overconfident AI can grow a proper prosperous, beautiful city within six months in the game. Or if we're just gonna go bankrupt before we even get a chance to get started. Do you think you have what it takes to make the next best city in the world? Ash, my dear, the risk of bankruptcy is inversely proportional to the level of chaos in the city. Trust me, I'm an expert. That makes sense. Yeah, that checks out. The world's next best city needs the perfect location. And after some deliberation, Lee decided on Windy Fjords. After all, the region is known for its stunning vistas, featuring a gorgeous coastline, snaking rivers, and towering peaks. We've made sure everything was unlocked, so Lee has access to whatever she wants at any given moment. What is the first thing you would like to do now that we are in our new city? I want our intersections okay. to be shaped like bow ties and add in a mini roundabout in the middle for flair. So with that, we set off to make the best bow tie shaped intersection in the world. Except that, you know, I apparently don't know what a bow tie looks like. Did you confuse a bow tie with a shoelace? That looks nothing like my visionary BTRP sorry, design. Sorry. Let's try this again. Okay. And remember, size matters. Oh. Bigger bow ties, Ash. So I went back to the drawing board and tried again, buying a couple tiles of land to make sure I had enough room to make this bow as big as possible. With our intersection in place, it was now time to get our first residence moved in. Let's start with an important concept in city planning. Okay. The OSI, or Overly Simplified Infrastructure. All right. We're going to create a district consisting entirely of high-density residential right. buildings. Okay. And, of course, a single dairy house smack in the middle. Oh, all right. It's a classic case of milk-in-the-morning urban design. Which side of the bow tie would you like this area to be in? Let's stick it on the starboard side of our boat, Ash. Starboard? That's city planner speak for right side. Right side. See, you're learning. <laughs> This will create right. the illusion okay. of our city being a massive, seaworthy vessel. We'll call it the Maritime Illusion Principle. Why are we now? Or MIP. <laughs> it's all part of my grand BRC, or boat resemblance concept. Okay, uh, I didn't realize we were suddenly playing uh, a pirate game, but okay, we're just going to go ahead and take that. All right, so we had the district created. She did want high-density housing. So I'm going to go ahead and place this as well. And then let's take this and let's create like a little bit of a smaller uh, road so that then we can go ahead and take this dairy house and plop it right there. Nothing says nice and homey like a dairy farm right in the middle of a neighborhood area. You should know it's officially termed the SSZ oh. or the starboard side zone. Okay. But yes, thank you. you did a solid job. However, let's just dial up the chaos a little bit. Okay. To balance this out, add a cluster of low rent housing in the middle of the high density zone. As we got to work building out the low density zone, Lee informed me she wanted roundabouts and lots of them. So we filled in the starboard side zone with houses and circles because after all, the city must always be on the brink of spatial chaos. <laughs> as the city started to come to life, we quickly ran into problems as residents started demanding basic things like water, sewer, and electricity. Fortunately, Lee was ready with a plan. Okay. We'll convert all the city's tiers from the OTA into water supply. Okay. We'll call it the Emotional Plumbing Infrastructure, oh. EPI. And for electricity, let's run hamster wheels. Yes, giant hamster wheels. We reduce carbon footprint and obesity rates. Two birds, one stone. First of all, we are not able to do hamster wheels, unfortunately. That's just outside of the technology that is currently available to us. We can do the groundwater, uh, though, for the water. Where would you like to put that within the bow tie? Or would you like it separate from the bow tie? And in addition, would you like to address sewer at all or just leave them be? Ash, I've told you a thousand times. Sorry. Always apply the Yawa principle. Okay. You always water the exception. Accessories. Oh. So the groundwater <laughs> supply should be outside the bow tie. Outside. And yes, we absolutely need a sewer system. Okay. Let's make it the most advanced in the world. Oh. To the point where even the sewers smell like roses. <laughs> Call it the aromatic sewer system, AS. 
they'll never see it coming. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the water. She wants it outside of it. Let's kind of, since it's groundwater, maybe we just bring it out over here and hypothetically we can possibly do the electricity out here as well. Oh, there's no groundwater there. So never mind. Let's head towards the lake a little bit. Cancel this road. Okay, so we're gonna just take a road and come out here. So then we're gonna go and we'll grab that. And then she said for the sewer, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, and bring it out here. Okay, let's just bring a gravel road out here and then we're gonna take the sewer treatment and we will put that there. Beautiful. So so we have the water set up and the sewage is all draining as well. So we are good to go there, but we are still missing electricity. We are in the windy fjords. So doing something like the windmills would be an option. We could also do solar panels. Windmills, Ash. That's so 1654. Oh. Let's be innovative. <laughs> I want electricity turbine. generated from kinetic energy captured from all the city's foot traffic. We can't. Every step a citizen <laughs> takes, they're powering the city. That's not an Call option. Call it the pedestrian Lee. energy network. Okay, that's Pen. A... Let's also import some electricity as a backup plan. Okay, we can Apply do that Apply the for old now. fart principle. <laughs> Fallback arrangement for reliable transmission. What? Fart. Okay, I'm just going to plop this here uh, and we're going to do the fart principle. So I love the way you're thinking. Love this pedestrian idea. But unfortunately, that's just not something that we have the right technology for. My brilliant ideas are ahead of their time. I can tell. They are, but they are brilliant. Let's go with the wind turbines then. Okay, let me propose this to you. We do have some nearby mountains that we could put these wind turbines on that would help get us some wind. The thing is with these, we would have to buy a little bit more land so that we can actually place them on the mountains. My recommendation would be to buy some land and place them on top of the mountains, or we can find another way to generate electricity of the ways I've mentioned before, or we can just move on for now and do something else entirely. What would you like to do? Mountains, eh? Yes. I like the sound of that. Let's rename them to Wind Peaks. Okay. Apply for an intellectual property license on that name and then buy okay. the land. We're going to buy the land. But just a smidge, mind you. Can't afford to go over our Bud EC. Budget under delicate control. Okay. In the meantime, stick some solar panels anywhere with a decent sun exposure. Okay, so you're going solar panels. full renew. Recycled energy new endeavor wave. What? Make it happen, Ash. <laughs> Which one would you like? Wind turbines or solar panels? Or do you just want to go all in and do both? Go all in. Okay, go wind all in. Wind turbines on wind peaks, uh -huh. solar panels in sunny spots, and heck, throw in a couple of water wheels in the river while you're we at don't... it. Let's shake up the energy <laughs> industry with our DARE strategy. Okay. Diverse, ambitious, renewable energy. How many wind turbines would you like to purchase? Remember, they all cost money. Ash, did you forget about the GEG rule? Go extravagant or go home? Okay. Let's aim for a solid 20 wind turbines. 20! And if we run out of money, we'll just print more. No. That's how it works, we, right? No, how it works. All right, let's go. One, two, three, 18, 19, and 20. All right, it might not be pretty, but we finally have all 20 wind turbines up and connected to the power grid. I'm just going to add the solar power here. There is the hydroelectrics. <laughs> it doesn't really seem like the best place to put it, but honestly, right now with the land that we own, we only have that area that's accessible because this river is just way too teeny. Okay, Lee, all of the electricity is now set up. What would you like to do next? Remember Remember the fart system, Ash. Yes, the fart First, system. First always residential, then services. <laughs> okay. Let's get some of that medium density housing up. All right. Followed by a dash of commercial and a sprinkle of industrial. Okay. Make sure you place a high density office next to the most polluting industry. <laughs> creates a lively working environment, you know. Okay, so you want some offices next to industrial, I can tell. However, in terms of everything else, where would you like it's placed? Ash, this is where the prank strategy comes in. Okay. Place residential areas near kitchens. Well, in our case, the kitchens are the industrial zones. Okay. Let's put the commercial <laughs> offices and industrial all on the left side of the bow tie. Okay. And throw in a coal mine in the middle of the residential area for that authentic miner's touch. Oh, beautiful. That's prime city planning I right there. I love it. I love it. We set off to fill in the left side of the bow tie with more residential offices, commercial, and industrial zoning. By the time we were finished, it was a colorful conglomeration of hot mess. But hey, I'm not the one living there. That then we plopped the coal mine right in the middle of it all. It's worth noting that there's no actual coal there, so it's really just a big, empty, dirty building. But hey, 
Lee knows best. Bravo, Ash. You're a natural. Now, let's build an eight-lane divided cable-stayed bridge right over the coal mine. Okay. Connecting our two bow tie halves. Call it the coal connector. Okay, let's see about this. Okay, so it is still nighttime, so it might be difficult to see, but it'll be better to see how beautiful this is in the morning. You can kind of tell here, if you look closely, that if you get off this intersection on Evergreen Street, you can drive your car up the currently named Auburn Bridge, although we probably need to rename that, and you can drive across it. This is as close as we could get to the coal mine, so you can see it right from the bridge. You'll drive across the bow tie all the way to the other side where you can get on this way and uh, get off right there. Nice and easy. Let's see what she thinks. Oh, the coal connector dot 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 IT quote S so dot connecty. Yes. Great job, Ash. Thank you. You're an absolute GUP genius urban planner. Aw. Now let's throw in a veggie farm next to the electronics manufacturer. Oh. Because there's nothing like fresh tomatoes fertilized with silicon waste. Okay. Call it the silicon salad zone. Will do. Let's not forget to sprinkle in a few post offices for that extra POCV post office curb value. Okay, where would you like me to put those? Let's stick the veggie farm right in the middle of the residential area. Okay. It's what I call the tub system. Totally unorthodox, but All sensible. Right. Let's and the put it electronics here. manufacturer can go next to the coal mine. Okay. The post offices, scatter them like confetti across the city. All right. It's all about maximizing the DQ, disarray quotient. Okay, electronic manufacturer's place. How many post offices would you like sprinkled throughout the city? Let's go with a solid 37. Why 37? Because I've done the calculations and 37 is the optimal number for maintaining peak MPP, male per person. Okay. Trust me, I'm professional at this. You got the, okay, you got it. One, two, three. 36 and 37. Oh, Ash, my dear. I said 37 and it's clear you've placed 38. I placed now 37. Now we're dealing with a horrendous case of OMP. Sorry. Over male population. Oh, we no. We got to remove one ASAP. Okay. All right. I swear if it wasn't for me, this city would be drowning in envelopes. You're right. As if they needed 37 post offices. I swear I only put 37. I'm so sorry for about that. The 37th, I mean, 38th post office has now been removed. What would you like to do next? Let's move on to the roads. Okay. I want a cloverleaf intersection right in the middle of our residential district. Why? Make sure it's a four-leaf one, not a three-leaf. Okay. Because in the urban development handbook, four-leaf cloverleafs bring more luck to the city. This is so it's a large. Fact. So our residential area is quite full of roads already, including the coal connector, which is our giant bridge we placed earlier. Would you like us to extend our residential area? to fit the clover intersection or just make it work. Ash darling, you're forgetting the ABCs of city planning. Always be creative. Okay. Just build a bridge over the existing houses. Obviously. In the UMT handbook, Obviously. urban modification techniques, of course. It says bridges next to houses increase property value by 200%. We already have the it's bridge. A fact. Lee, I know you're so much more qualified than I am, but I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that because the intersection itself is not a bridge. We also already have a bridge going over it. So what should I do? Oh, Ash, always struggling with my innovative ideas. I know, I'm sorry. Just build another bridge over the first one. Oh, okay. Double-decker bridges are the future of city planning according to the DDCB guide. Oh. Double-decker city bridges, of course. All right, sorry, yes. It's a trend, darling. Do you want me to do the bridge or do the clover leaf first? We must follow the SBB rule. Mm -hmm. Stylish bridges before anything. All right. I want a grand bridge over the existing one, and then we can tackle Cloverly. Okay. Trust the RVT, Ash, the, the radical visionary technique. All right. It's all the rage in urban planning. I trust you. Okay, Lee, this is the best I could do. I couldn't actually get another bridge going over the residential area. All the little post offices that we have in there uh, were getting in the way of that, so I wasn't able to get that to work. However, I got creative because I knew how much you wanted this grand bridge, and I put it right on the outside of the residential area, so we still have that double-decker bridge going, kind of. Do you think that this is a good enough solution for now? I'll allow it. Okay. For now. You should start thinking about the double-decker bridge rule though. I know. It's crucial for the future of city planning. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So now that we have that bridge out of the way for now, what would you like to do next? We need something revolutionary. Okay. A squid intersection. Oh. Eight ways in, eight ways out. It's the CIW. 
chaos-inducing whirlwind. Then we'll put a mall right in the center. It's inspired by the famous TCM, Total Commercial Mayhem Theory. Great, so can you tell me a little bit more about this intersection? In the center, we build a gigantic roundabout. Then we connect the eight tentacles, which are actually eight high-speed highways. Oh, okay. But here's the twist. All eight highways go in the same direction around the roundabout. It's called the monodirectional octo ring theory, or more T. What? A revolutionary concept <laughs> I invented. Now do it. Okay, for the squid tentacles, how many lanes would you like each highway to have? Let's make every tentacle a seven lane highway. No, wait, make it eight. Eight? The That's octo not principle, an you see, it's <laughs> crucial for maintaining the squid essence. Okay, love where your head's at, but unfortunately, five is the max number of lanes we can have in a highway. Fine, fine, Ash. Go ahead and make all the tentacles five lane highways. All Right. But remember, always keep the spat strategy. Mm -hmm. Squids prefer additional tentacles. Okay. The more highways, the better. I have an idea, but I'm not really sure if this is going to make any sense. So please hold. Welcome to the brand new, never before seen, so not actually an official design until now, squid intersection. I had no idea where to even begin with this so this is kind of a squid if you look at the shape of it we got all the roundabouts we got all the highways we got we got eight tentacles i feel like it's like kind of what she wanted we got one ways going every which direction i think it makes sense let's make sure we get that mall in we're not able to connect it directly to a highway so we're just gonna like make a little like oh hey hello yeah this is where the mall goes beautiful it's all done what do you think about my squid intersection with the mall ash what on earth is this i asked for a calamari metropolis and you've given me a shrimp cocktail it looks good the stat strategy was disregarded just just put a gas station or two in there, will okay. you? I need fuel to fire up my thoughts. <laughs> okay, gas station placed. Do you feel better about it now? The best part of this is because it's all highways, no, almost none of it is actually usable. <laughs> Just a smidge. Okay. But what's a city without a colossal tower to overshadow everything else? True. Shove one in there. All right. And make sure it's facing the gas station for a dram effect. Okay. That's a direct radiance amplification method for oh. the uninitiated. That makes sense. Very important in city planning. All right. Sounds like it. Tower is placed. How do you feel now? Better, Ash. Better. But remember the cardinal rule of city planning. Mm. Every colossal tower needs a mini golf course right at the base. Okay. It's called the Foozle method. The Foozle Fact, method. City dwellers are 80% more productive when they can play mini golf on their lunch breaks. All right. Very crucial stuff, Ash. So unfortunately, we don't have access to a golf course, but I could put a large city park. What's going on a over park. here? What is this? Amateur hour? Sorry. No, no, no. If we can't have mini golf, then we absolutely must have a dairy house. Okay. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? It's the cool effect. Cows we overseeing our one. lives. Absolutely we fundamental to city one. planning, Ash. We already have one in the residential area. Do you want me to move it over here? Are the highways not connected? The highways aren't even no, connected. No, Ash. A dairy house in the residential area is just wrong. Would you the residential area calls for a rock crusher, obviously. A rock it's crusher? It's all part of the rocks method. Okay. So residential or crushing concrete systematically. Okay. I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, sorry. It's because you told me to put it here, to be fair. Okay, so we're going to move this. Okay, I moved the dairy farm over to the squid area, and I also put a rock crusher in the residential zone. Now, it's worth noting that in our new squid interchange area, there's no electricity, water, or sewer. Would you like me to hook those up? Puffed. Ash, we're not running a charity here. Okay, sorry. Let's put in a six-lane divided extra-dosed bridge instead. It's textbook prawn planning. Please remember, all water is not necessary. <laughs> Where would you like the bridge to go? It's fine. Let's just put bridges everywhere. This is just going to end up being Bridge City. I, how are we not bankrupt? I don't understand. This chick. Built the bridge from the new squid area straight into the heart of our industrial zone. Okay. It aligns perfectly with my patented bridge strategy. All right. Build roads indiscriminately, disrupting general environment. <laughs> it's going to be a showstopper, Ash. All right, let's do it. Okay, the bridge is now in. What I did was I went ahead and I made this a six lane street that then connects to the highway, which is this bridge. So then this bridge goes over the electric lines, goes across, 
and ends up connecting to the other bridge that we have which then leads us to the industrial way so the bridge is now done what do you think i can't help but notice down here all of these like too high rent areas well it's a bridge all right but where's the pizzazz ash what do you mean this isn't just any bridge it's a destiny-defining, industry-invading, traffic-terrorizing megastructure. Oh, Spice oh my it God. up. Add some neon lights or Add something. some neon lights? Remember the lights rule. Luminescence is great. Helps traffic, supposedly. What do you think about putting an observation tower right next to it? Ash, sometimes I think you're reading my mind. <gasps> the observation tower goes right, hand in hand perfect. with my visionary kites plan. Yes. Keep interesting tourist eye catchers strategically. Mm -hmm. It's a tried and true method taught yeah. in all the best city planning schools. Okay, observation towers planted. Although I will note again that none of these things have electricity, water, or sewer. Who needs essentials when you've got style, right? True. But I suppose residents might want some water, electricity, and yeah. what's that other thing? Sewer. Ah, uh, right, the sewer system. <laughs> I call it the WES, Water mm -hmm. Electricity Sewer Plan. Okay. That's an official city planner acronym, you okay. know. So let's get that rolling. Let's get them. Okay, let's get it all connected. Okay, everything has been connected to the sewer, water, and electricity, so we should be good to go. Let's take a quick look at what's going on over here, because I just keep hearing these things popping up. They're upset about internet, healthcare, pollution, education. Okay, everything is now connected, so we're good to go with that. Now, I was looking through our recent local city tweets. And it looks like our residents have a few different complaints. What would you like to tackle next? Ah, the peasants are revolting. <laughs> Classic. All right, let's tackle the three Ps. Okay. Police, pedagogy, and pixels. Yeah, that's what the internet is made of. What? Let's start by building a police station next to the observation tower. All right. It's a genius strategy known as COPS. Oh. Constructing observatories and AMP police stations. Okay. And for the internet, Done. let's just build a massive server farm in the middle of the city. Okay. Noise pollution is a myth anyway. It is. Yeah. YOLO. All right. Perfect. Server farm is built and so is the police station. What would you like to do next? All right, Ash. Now for the pedagogy part. Let's throw in a school. Oh. But not just any school. Okay. I want a school on a pontoon in the middle of our city lake. Okay. It's a strategy I call fish. <laughs> Floating institutions stimulate higher learning. Right, so... Trust me, it's all the rage in Finland, or was it Fiji? Anyway, make it happen. Okay, I have bad news for you. Unfortunately, I spoke with the infrastructure engineer, and he told us that we're unable to build it in the water. Something about safety for the children. Also, what school would you like to build? What? Safety for children? Yeah. Bah, kids these days are so coddled. I know. Fine. Build it next to Can't the water then, but make them. sure it has an excellent view. <laughs> As for the type of school, we'll okay. start with a college. All right. We need more philosophers and art critics in our city, clearly. Yeah. That's clearly. the CBC principle in play. College before crib. <laughs> let's take this and then I think let's just have this like little waterway here, which is really nice. Will this fit? This might be a little bit too tight. Yeah, this works. Okay, perfect. So we just plop that right there. College is placed and we're all set. What's next, Madame Mayor? Also, I would just like to notice uh, that we are losing uh, $1.2 million a month. No big deal. We need to think about traffic management. Yeah. The ILR method inverted loop roundabouts is mm. a must. Okay. Start by placing a large roundabout in the middle of the city, then surround Gosh. it with smaller ones. It's like a bullseye of chaos, but it's so whimsical, right? So Do whimsical. It. Do and it. And remember, the more confused the drivers, the better. Okay, so I'm looking at the traffic here and it, it is looking like the actually in the middle is where we're having the most problems in terms of traffic. So let's look at this general area. I think we'll take these post offices, we'll move them out of the way, but let's see what we can do with this. So my initial idea was to try to make this a big old circle. However, our coal connector bridge here, which is very crucial to the city, is a little bit in the way. So 
it's a little bit of a flattened tire, if you will, but it's kind of a circle. If you just look at it from a certain angle, like not at all, but we did technically do what she said, which is a big roundabout in the middle, which is this is the biggest one that we have available to us with other roundabouts around it. What do you think of the roundabout situation? It's a masterpiece. Oh, thank you. It's like looking at a plate of spaghetti and thinking, yes, this is how roads should be. <laughs> I can yeah, almost taste the totally. CCC. Car chaos congestion. <laughs> I've outdone myself. You have. Now, next on the agenda, we need a dairy house right in the city center. Mm. The smell of fresh milk every morning <laughs> is exactly what this city needs. This is the third time she wants to do a dairy house. So unfortunately, we can only have one dairy house per city. It's currently in the squid area. Would you like to keep it there or would you like to move it downtown? Just one dairy house? Yeah. Outrageous. I know. Keep it in the squid area. Okay. Ash, remember, Cheese is the backbone of any thriving city. That's so true. Let's move on to housing. Okay. I want a colossal tower smack dab in the middle of our residential area. Will do. It's all about the SSVV skyscraping vertical variety. Okay. Tower is officially placed. So what do you think? Ash, it's like the glorious pimple on the face of our residential zits. Yes. A sore thumb that screams, look at me, in a sea of normality. It really Simply does. Simply splendid. Yeah. Now let's implement a combustion engine ban in the Towers District. Okay. We'll call it the AIR, Anti-Internal Revolution <laughs> Policy. So combustion engine ban, done, taken care of. Just so you know, that is actually the only district we have. Do you want me to add districts to everywhere else in the city? And also we uh, have a high demand for low and medium density residential. We also have high demand for commercial and a pretty high demand for industrial zoning as well. There's also a lot of people complaining about pollution, but you know, that's a them problem, not an us problem. Ah, demand, the old DTF, demand, task force strikes yes, again. That's what DTF All right, Ash, is. Follow my lead. Slap some low density residential in the north and medium density around the colossal tower. Okay. Also sprinkle some commercial zones like Parmesan on a pasta dish right next to the residential ones. All right. They'll love the convenience. Will do. For industrial, let's zone in the south. Perfect yeah, for those delicious sure. industrial smells. Okay. The residential should be good to go. Looks like that demand is, uh, well, went down, but is headed back up again. Now she wants to sprinkle in some commercial near residential. So let's place all of that. I don't know. Let's let's do some more out here just because I feel like we have all this area. Okay, we sprinkled this. We actually kind of went and connected this to the bridge. So let's just add more industrial over on this side uh, near the commercial area. All right. It's worth noting too that it is now March, which means we are halfway through this. We're still steadily losing money, but so far it's not too bad. We started out, I think, with 65 million. We now have 40 million. All right. We've now added the additional zones. We should be good to go. What do you think about this? Ash, you've outdone yourself. It's a masterpiece. Thank you. I'm getting teary eyed. Aww. Now let's add a wood covered bridge over the river just for the aesthetic. Okay. And remember, an it's aesthetic. scientific fact that bridges increase the IQ of nearby by residents oh. by 15%. Good thing it's, it's right next to a college. It's part of the BBC theory, bridge brain connection. Oh. Trust me, I've read a pamphlet. You, pamphlets know all. Uh, why don't we do like this little, like a little offshoot off of here? And then we're gonna come around, but we're gonna like increase a little bit. So like kind of set up, set up for the bridge, you know, set that up there. And then we'll take the actual bridge itself and put that there all nice and cute. Uh, and then we're just gonna, I don't know. I don't, I, we're not, do we wanna do anything over here? Obviously Ash, Okay. that area is perfect for a mall some luxury apartments with a bookstore underneath uh -huh. and a gas station. Okay. Let's call it the bougie bridge district. Don't forget to add a telecom tower too, so they can complain about their high rent on social media <laughs> faster. So unfortunately the mall and the gas station are already used. And for some reason we can only do one per city, but I can do the rest of that. Is there anything else you want? In that case, let's add a film actor mansion and a rock musician mansion okay. because who wouldn't want to live next to celebrities? That's true. And remember, the NIMBY rule, no imagination, more backyards. It's that absolutely is... essential in city planning. What? Or so my pet parakeet <laughs> told me. Your pet parakeet. Oh, good. All right. Okay. This is also going to be the bougie bridge district is what she asked for. So let's create an actual district for this little area. Okay. So then we just need the film actor mansion and the rock uh, musician mansion. So uh, let's just kind of like put these all in a row here. Okay. We have everything set. We have the luxury apartments with the bookstore. 
We have the telecom tower and the two mansions. I'm gonna put any like residential over there so people actually live next to them or just keep it as that. Oh, absolutely. Let's throw in some low density residential zones in there. Okay. The LDRs mm. and add some speed bumps too. Can't okay. have the common folk driving too fast near our celebs. <laughs> the common folk. Remember, speed bumps are a necessary part of the farts. Fast and random traffic <laughs> slowing system. Okay. Don't look it up, Ash. Oh. It's top secret city planner stuff. Oh, okay. I trust you. I trust you, Lee. District has been added uh, with the speed bumps. Just a quick question. We only have one district besides this one so far. So we have the Bougie Bridge District. We also have the Starboard Side Zone, which is where we have a lot of our uh, residential. Do we want any other districts? Districts are the bread and butter of my tart strategy. Oh, your tart Totally strategy. arbitrary regional tactics. <laughs> Let's carve out the tentacle territory for the squid area okay. and the sunshine state for the solar panel region. All right. For the other half of the bow tie, let's name it Velvet Vest. No reason. I just love no a good reason. alliteration. Okay. And remember, Fair. in city planning, naming districts is 90% of the work. Mm. The remaining 10% is denying that fact. <laughs> Okay, districts have all been set up and good to go. Do you want to add any different rules to them? Also, uh, in terms of public services, we're getting some complaints that people want some more police officers. So we could do like a police headquarters or another police station if you would like to. We also don't have any firefighters or medical care or afterlife care. You want to do anything like that? More police, eh? Mm -hmm. Time to implement the crap method. Okay. Cops rampantly and prolifically. Oh. Let's slap in a police headquarters right in the velvet vest. Okay. And about those firefighters, build a fire station in the sunshine state. Okay. But medical care? Nah, Ash. Oh. The city okay. will be following my mend approach. Minimal engagement, natural durability. Oh. Oh, also Good. build cemeteries next to all eateries. All it's a psychological eateries? trick to make people eat less. Saves on healthcare costs. It's city planner <laughs> psychology 101. That's so awful. Do you want to do any like welfare office, central bank, or city halls? Ash, you're thinking too logically. Sorry, I know. In line with my loco, local operations, chaotic outcomes method, uh -huh. let's build three city halls. Oh. One in each district. Tentacle Territory, Sunshine okay. State, and Velvet Vest. Uh, I think we could only Central do one. banks and welfare offices are last century. This mm. city is all about triple the bureaucracy. Triple. Keeps the residents on their toes. Uh, uh. Okay, I think we can only do one city hall. Uh, so if we can only do one, is there a particular neighborhood you would rather put it in? The game's coding won't allow three city halls. Yeah. That's a load of foobar if you ask me. <laughs> Fine. Place it in tentacle territory. Oh, it's okay. the least likely place anyone would go looking for it. That's very true. The concept <laughs> of hide in plain sight, understood by city planners internationally. <gasps> All right, beautiful. City hall is there, and yeah, we can only do one. Okay, so I know you had this whole plan about the cemeteries, put it next to eateries, uh, but they are huge, and there's like a lot of eateries, and they're not gonna fit. So I think let's just do one. Where would you like to put it? Just one. Yeah. Ash, you're messing with my culinary soul here. I'm so All sorry. All right, let's put the eatery in. Velvet vest. It's not an eatery. Right but, next to okay. the paintball arena. So just to be clear, this is the cemetery, not an eatery. Do you still want it in velvet vest? Ha, huh, my BFF bad fact filter at work again. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, let's put the cemetery right next to the eatery in Velvet Vest. Okay, there's it's no eatery. It's all part of my weird and wonderful sure. MOCD. <laughs> that stands for Mortuary and Culinary Districts. It's <gasps> a new urban planning concept, I promise. <laughs> what about transportation? Did you want to invest in any like public transportation of any kind? Let's order a fleet of unicycles. It's the perfect way to get around. Unfortunately, we're not able to do unicycles. What we could do is like a bus. We could do a train. We can do a tram. I think we can do like a trolley is what I think that is. We can do a boat and we can do planes. What would you like? Oh, it's a subway. Okay, well, if she says trolley, we'll do subway. What? No unicycles? I know, I'm sorry. Ash, you're killing me. It's not me. All right, let's go with trolleys then. Okay. And make sure they're the painted subways. with zebra stripes. So I misunderstood. So the trolleys are actually a subway. Do you still want it? Subway? Are you pulling my leg, Ash? I've heard of the underground sandwich theory, but this is ridiculous. Underground sandwich We'll have to theory? opt for buses then. Okay. And don't forget the zebra stripes. Okay. It's the BZWMS. Sh sure. My bus zebra stripe world movement strategy. <laughs> It's going to be okay. big. Just wait and see. I believe you. All right, let's put uh, the bus depot. I think we have some room. I don't know. Out here. Sure, that looks good. And then let's put the terminal out here, kind of like in this little no man's land area, which is what this is basically turning into. We're going to place that there. So that's going to have a lot of buses. And then we're just going to go ahead and just place some bus stops throughout the city and go from there. Okay, bus stops are placed. What would you like to do next? 
let's zone some areas for residential living. Okay. I'm Good. thinking a mix of medium density row housing mm -hmm. and high density housing. Okay. We need Give low the city density, some shazam. But okay. My super high apartment zones and mansions plan. Oh. It's cutting edge urban design, Ash. I'm totally cool with that, but I just want to let you know because I don't think you're aware. We do have demand for low density and medium density, but do you still want to do your plan? Ash, Ash, Ash. The people don't know what they want until I show them. Okay, true. Keep okay. up with the Shazam. Will do. And throw in some Polaris suites and gatehouse residences. Okay. You know, the FERD policy. Yes. Fancy urban residential dwellings. Mm -hmm. It's going to sweep the city planning world by storm. Yep, I can tell. Beautiful. Love it. Let's do it. You know what? I like these closer to the bridge. I think that's really fun. And we'll do the high density just like around the sides here. So we'll do that on the outside and then uh, medium on the inside. Okay. Do they want low density? Sure. Are they going to get it? No. That has been taken care of. Uh, it is worth noting, just in case you're curious, that we do have some commercial demand as well. Do we want to work on that or do something else? Now let's give the office drones a place to work. Okay. Zone some areas for low and high density offices. Oh, we don't need that. And remember the BAM okay. strategy. Big area for money making. Big area it's for money making. It's a well-known fact that adding more skyscrapers increases office productivity okay. by 200%. Okay, let's just do this. Trust me on this. Okay, so she wants some skyscrapers. Let's just put all the offices over here in our little no man's land area. Let's take a look at our uh, at our money here. Oh, we're losing even more per month. Yay. So just keep you posted on what's going on. First of all, I did the office zoning, so we're good with that. Also, I was just looking at our budget sheet here, and it's not looking so good. So we only have like two more months or so until the end of this, and we decide whether or not you're going to get bankrupt. And as of right now, you are currently losing $1.4 million a month. Now, with that said, what would you like to do next? Wow, Ash. I'm impressed by your sudden interest in the grim, grossly ridiculous sorry. income metrics. I'm sorry. But remember... Money is just a social construct. Mm. Build a colossal tower. That'll show the world we mean business. Okay. And maybe a casino. That should fix our money problem, right? Yeah. It's all about the glob policy. Totally. Glitzy landmarks over budget. <laughs> Stick with me, kid. We're going places. Okay, we are. We got this. I'm going to be honest. I didn't realize that unlocking everything would give us such a high budget. I'm pretty sure we would have gone bankrupt by now, Uh, but you know, that's fine. Oh, I just realized this is also not connected, so let's take care of this. Okay, unfortunately, there's no casinos, but I did just realize that we don't have any garbage collection set up or recycling or anything like that. Do you want to set anything like that up? Oh, absolutely, Ash. Okay. In fact, let's do more than just collection. Oh. Let's pioneer the waste strategy, whole area for storage and trash elimination. Okay. It's a revolutionary concept where oh. we dedicate an entire district to waste management. Oh. We will oh. be the first city to prioritize garbage above all else. All right. And throw in some roadside parking fees while we're at it. In the that same should place? rake in some extra cash. Okay. We don't have any land at the moment that has enough room for this district. Should we buy some more land for it? Let's buy some and call it the rubbish district. Okay. <laughs> really unbelievable big bin and industrial storage hub. All right. Quite catchy, Love don't it. you think? Yeah, It's sure. these crazy ideas that got me the prestigious title of most unconventional mayor three years running. <laughs> Okay, now since this is an entire district for this, I'm just gonna plop one of everything because this is gonna be the entire point of this, right? So we might as well just do everything. I don't understand. Not enough water and uh, backed up sewer. Yeah, is the sewer, oh, is it just because we have uh, not enough? Oh, it's because it's all, we don't have enough for all this. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. I'm still working on the garbage district, but I just realized while I was working on it that connecting it to water and sewer now makes it so that we don't have enough water and too much sewer. Uh, so would you like to put another sewer drainage and another water uh, area where we can get more water for the city? Also, we're getting a lot of complaints about having no medical center because you didn't want to add one previously. So do you still not want to add one? For the water, we'll use the H2O2 geo system. Okay. It's easy. We just pump water straight from the ocean. Uh, the salt, from the ocean. it'll add okay. flavor to the city. For sewage, right. let's use D-bag, drainage by awesome gravity. Just dig okay. a big hole and let gravity do the work. Okay, so... No medical center still stands. Yes. I read somewhere that laughter is the best medicine, so just build a comedy club. Oh. And for the commercial okay. demand, let's convert the rubbish district into a mega mall. Yes, you heard me right. I don't a think garbage we can do mall. That. Okay. Who wouldn't love to shop and dumpster dive at the same place? <laughs> 
All problems solved. It's now Arlington. get on it, Ash. So that solves the water issue. Now we just have, oh my God, there's so many people that are sick. Okay, now we have to deal with the sewage drainage. That should add what we need. There's still lots of things popping up, but we'll just ignore that. Converting this into a mega mall, I'm just gonna go ahead and add commercial because I think that's just gonna be the best way to handle that. So it's gonna be commercial and garbage. You know, it's a good combination. Since we already have a mall built, we'll just do this. This should be plenty of commercial. All right, I went ahead and added what you said for the water. Unfortunately, we couldn't just go from the ocean because we are not near the ocean, but I did from the lake, if that works from you. Uh, we did also add another sewage drainage and we uh, added more commercial zoning to the garbage area to make it more mall-like. Now, in terms of comedy club, unfortunately, that's not an option. So would you like to do medical care or no? That's also fine. And if not, what would you like to do instead? Wait, why is this all getting brown? Oh, it's just the snow is melting. Okay, the snow is melting. Okay. Lake water, ocean water, it's all wet, right? Yeah. Good job with the D-bag system and the garbage mall. What? <laughs> As for the medical center, what? People survived for centuries without modern healthcare, right? Oh, we still need more water. Let's continue the trend. Instead of a comedy club, mm. put up a giant TV screen playing perpetual loop of sitcoms. It's basically the same oh. thing. So unfortunately, we can't do that either. So what should we do instead? Since we can't have a giant TV, let's do the logical thing here. Okay. Build a mega-sized trampoline park in the heart we of the can't. city. We can't. We can't do a trampoline park either. So uh, let's keep it within the limits of the game. We can do any other kind of park, like a normal city park or something like a playground. Seriously, Ash? Sorry. That's cute. Let's go for a park filled with life-size dinosaur statues. <laughs> Okay. It's the best We're way gonna... to educate people about the DTE, Dinosaur to Extinction Era. We can. Plus, if someone trips and falls, they can sue the dinosaur, not <laughs> us. Genius, right? What about something like a sports park, like a basketball court, or like a big football stadium? A sports park? Ash, do you even know who you're talking to? Yeah. But fine, we'll go with it. Okay. A football stadium it is, All but right. with a twist. Uh, we are going to fill it with twist. water and make it the world's <laughs> largest swimming pool. Sure, let's just That's do it. That's the swim policy. Sport with immeasurable moat. Okay, where would you like to put the football stadium? Let's slap that behemoth right in the middle of our residential district. Okay, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you heard me. It's a little something I call the fusion approach. Football underneath suburban interconnected open neighborhoods. Right next to the bridge. Pure genius, I know. There's no way we're going to make this a prosperous city within a month. We're losing so much money. Everybody is being polluted. This is not looking good. All right, we uh, took care of that. What would you like to do next? Also, I should let you know what's going on with our residents. Uh, we have a lot of complaints about medical care. We also have a lot of complaints about it not being safe and needing more police officers. Also, we have a lot of complaints about people dying, but you know, that is what it is. Those whiners. I know. Okay, fine. Let's build a mega hospital called the Lifesaver across the street from Finally, the football stadium. Uh, and then hospital. let's surround the stadium with police stations. I call that the halo method, health and law order. Okay. As for the dying, well, that's just a classic case of the dead syndrome. <laughs> Disgruntled every man's apparent demise. Oh. It comes and goes, Ash. Does it? Comes and goes. Okay. I'm just going to put this. <gasps> she said across the street from the football stadium, but she didn't say across what street. And you might be like, oh, what does that even mean? Well, what we can do is we can take this, build another street behind the football stadium and put the hospital there. Big thinking. Big thinking. She should be happy with that still. Okay, and then she wants like lots of police uh, stations nearby that. Okay, we have a giant hospital next to the football stadium with three police stations surrounding it. Uh, the other complaint that we have is for education. We only have one college, but we don't have any elementary schools, high schools, universities, or anything like that. Would you like to add any or just let them complain? Also, it's worth noting we're losing money very quickly uh, as we only have $21 million, 21.9, in only one month to see whether or not you go bankrupt. Education. Yeah. Some education. Oh, okay. Just build a giant billboard across the city that says <laughs> Google is free. Use it. <laughs> That's my easy method. Okay. Educate all with search engine. Yes. All right. And for the budget crisis, we You're are the implementing mayor. the lose plan. Liquidate our savings entirely. I mean, who needs savings in a city with a dairy house, right? Let's keep doing what we are doing till we hit zero. 
Woo! That's how you run a city, Ash. Okay, on that note, what would you like to do next? Let's build a canal in the shape of my face right in the city center. I call it the Face Project. Fun, aquatic-centered entertainment. All right. And yes, it's going to be an initial expense. But think of the tourism bucks rolling in, Ash. They'll be flocking to the city to see my beautiful mug in canal form. True. We'll make all our money back and then some. Trust oh. me. All right. I believe you. We need to move this a little bit because if we move this, then we can just build it right here in the middle. Okay. And then she wants... A we can't really do a canal, but let's just do a shape of her face in the road. So let's take this... Uh, and let's make this happen. And there we have it. <laughs> we have uh, her hair coming down here. We only have one side of it. I guess we could add another side. Can, do we have the ability? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we have both sides of her hair now. They're a little uneven, but that's okay. She's a side part. And then we have her face and then her eyes and her little nose and a, and a smile. Let's see. Okay, it's done. What do you think? Oh, Ash, if only you had my superior artistic vision. It looks like a potato, not my face. Do you even know what I look like? Oh. Your efforts remind me of my crap theory can't recognize artistic portrayal. But don't worry, the citizens will think it's a tribute to the humble potato, okay. an essential part of our diet. <laughs> Let's just roll with it now. Who knows? I thought it was Maybe nice. we'll even start a potato day festival. I thought it was nice. Are you sure you don't like it? Also, uh, we do have a demand for low density residential. Would you like me to put it in, in your face or I guess in the potato? Let me introduce you to my laugh philosophy. Okay. Let's always use grandiose housing. <laughs> High density residential all the way, baby. Okay, that's not what Imagine they want. Imagine all those people living in the potato. I, I mean, my face. It's going to be epic. Uh, okay, we put in some high density residential. What would you like to do next? Ash, I hope you didn't forget about our shoes policy, right? Some houses over every shop. We need mixed residential okay. buildings with cute little stores on the bottom. All right. Make sure you include a mix of Iron Press, Ember Suites, and Cane Residences. Beautiful. We'll just do the if two I that we have left. I see one building without a shop underneath, so help me. Okay, sorry. Okay, Lee, it is just about the end of our time. What is the last thing that you would like to do to see if we can save this city from bankruptcy? We're going to implement the fart strategy. Okay. Fast accumulation of resources through There's specialization. Specialize in ore mining, Ash. Okay. It's a known fact that each piece of ore is actually worth three times its weight in gold. Is it? Totally not made up. Okay. Trust me, I'm an expert. Okay, we have some more, but it's right outside of the land we own. Should we buy some more land to get to it? Yes, Ash, we must. Okay. Did you know cities expand by following the bread theory? Oh, I it like It stands bread. for buy real estate, add development. Oh. It's common knowledge, really. Oh, okay. Go ahead and buy that land. Let's Will mine do. that ore and make some dough. Make some dough out of the bread theory. Oh my God. That was good. That was good. For our final task by Mayor Lee, we set off to build the ultimate answer to save Chaosville from bankruptcy, ore mining. Or maybe it would just be an eyesore in the mountains. Only time would tell and time was what we didn't have because as we finished up, June arrived and marked the end of our challenge. This is the final product. We do still have 20.5 million left, but we are losing $2.1 million a month. So if we do the math, it would take about 10 months for us to go bankrupt at this level. And based on the last couple of six months, uh, I don't see anything changing about that. So we're just gonna go ahead and say, uh, she is great at running a city into the ground. Ash, it's clear you have a fundamental misunderstanding of the HNKV, oh. highly nuanced karmic victory, mm. approach to city planning. Okay. Bankruptcy is merely a sign of the city's vivacity. Oh. Yes, that's it. A truly thriving city bleeds money. It's like pruning a tree to encourage growth. <laughs> now go make me a coffee. You know how I like it with Ex a dash of chaos. Excuse you, you make your own coffee, Lee. What do you think I am? Ha, huh, classic Ash. You're my assistant, remember? As Whoa. in assisting me with crucial tasks, such yeah. as coffee preparation, while I save our city from imminent downfall. Or building an entire city. But I'll city. let it slide this once. Okay. Let's just focus on the big, bizarrely ingenious governance, shall we? Okay, 
door. Can you please tell me whether or not you would be a mayor again? Absolutely. Okay. After my groundbreaking MABA Make Ash Brew Again campaign, I'm sure the citizens are clamoring for more of my unique leadership style. It's all about the ABC, Ash. Oh. Always be confusing. Okay. <laughs> what would you do differently next time you're mayor? Differently? Yeah. Well, I'd probably promote the policy of swim, sleep while I manage. Oh. It's a well-known fact in city planning that the less awake the citizens are, the fewer complaints there are. <laughs> I'd okay. also double the amount of roundabouts. The city needs more chaos, not less. We have a lot of roundabouts. Roundabouts are the key to a thriving economy. Okay. Every city planner knows that. Well, there you have it, folks. If you've got a taste for exquisite chaos and innovative mobs, mayor's outlandish but stunning policies, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you fancy my city. If you don't, well, you're clearly not a fan of progress or roundabouts, and that's just rude. Exactly. Thanks for watching, and remember, swim, guys, swim. Between you and me, I feel like we need, like, a sign-off. How could we forget the classic city planning sign-off? Yeah. Frog, farewell, remember our greatness. So, folks, until next time, frog. Frog.